Hello again, my friends. This is Kanita, and I greet you warmly in the name of our risen Lord, Yeshua, Almighty God. You know, I notice today, and I, I notice every day, I don't know what particularly made it stand out today. You know, almost everywhere I go, I see people out running, out jogging. I guess I'm old enough to remember back uh, a time where if you were running, you were either in a hurry to get somewhere or you were trying to get away from someone else. But uh, that's not the case anymore. Uh, we see people running at, at lunch, breaks, before they go into work, after they get home. We see it everywhere. And I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, running and a runner today. But it's not the kind of people we see out jogging on the various bicycle pathways and, and along the highways and, and in the neighborhoods. I want to talk about a heavenly runner. A heavenly runner, you say, what is a heavenly runner? Well, a heavenly runner, a heavenly runner is he who looks fully and wholly to the incarnate Son of God for the wholeness and the abundance of life that only God can give. Our risen Lord leads and draws him inward and onward with his matchless grace. And as he runs and looks and looks and runs, every fresh look into the beckoning eyes of our Lord gives renewed strength and desire. And every time, every time we view his glory, we see more to believe, more to love, more reason to, de to endure, more reason to endure to the end. Every glance as he encourages us onward, renews and empowers the flame of holy love within us. And every touch, every, every touch of his hand along the way melts the heart anew into his image. You see, this, my friends, is the metaphor we see in the word of God. For the life of the Lamb of God, daily to be running a race, a race for eternity. And as he runs and fatigues and sometimes falls, all the while yet, continually breathing forth the sighs and the yearnings of his soul after that divine wreath of eternity for which he seeks. And to be pressing forward, always forward, more and more towards Christ and the joy, the joy that awaits at the finish of the course. But as he runs, he is bowed down, bowed down with the weights of many trials and sorrows, many cares and anxieties that weary both mind and body, many temptations to turn aside, many loves to discard, many inward idols to smash, many doubts and fears, with much sinking and trembling of heart from the hindrances of his own coldness and darkness. All this, and perhaps more, hang upon him and press him down every step every struggling step so that times at times he feels utterly unable utterly unable to move a single foot forward but yet in spite of all the hindrances from without and from within as he keeps his eyes and his focus on Jesus on our Lord holding out the crown 
at the end of the race. He is inspired and enabled once more to run, once more to go forward, looking only unto him that we may derive strength and virtue out of the fullness of the living God. Yet he cannot run the race with any hope of success except as he looks unto our living Lord and derives supplies of strength and power out of his fullness. Though he may become faint, you will see, my friends, he pursues still, running on, running, running through every difficulty. For well he knows that free will and what he wants has no place here because it is not of him who wills or even him who runs but of God who calls and empowers oh my friends it is we we who are the runners but it is God who draws us draws us by the looks and the bands of his eternal love it is God my friends who will never let us go nor cease to work his grace upon our hearts he will maintain the faith and the hope he has given to us. And he will never allow us to fall out of the race. But will certainly, certainly bring us home crowned with his eternal victory. Amen. As it says in the word, my friends, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which so easily entangles us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking only unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Until the next time, my friends, have a wonderful evening in our risen Lord. Goodbye.